Alrighty. So, start of the new channel video, we're just going to go to a local lake and start throwing around these these little swim baits, Kai Tech, I guess you call them. I just got these two variations here. I'm going to pair it up with a uh, little colored, yellow colored uh, jig head. Z-Man jig head. These little tiny swim baits are sometimes kind of hard to rig up. You got to put them a certain way. Oh boy. That hook's sticking out pretty fat there. If we miss a hook set with this thing, son, I'll tell you what. Let's get a ship on the road, baby. I'm going to be using my Bull Bay Rod with my Quantum Reel. My favorite setup. Not really just for fresh water, it's my saltwater setup, but we like to get some fresh water on her from time to time. Alright, we're off. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we just pulled up to the pond. Haven't been here in probably a year. And uh, this was an old pond that I used to fish. It's close to my uh, childhood house growing up. And I would never pull anything big out of here. It was always small stuff, but dude, giant tilapias in here. Sometimes they'll eat too. We're gonna swim bait that size. Who knows, bro, if it gets close to the nest. Damn, there's a lot of, there's a lot of lily pads out now. We're not exactly rigged up weedless, so we'll see how this goes. A little pond surrounding. Let's check if there's anything stuck in the trenches, baby. No, sometimes there'd be fish stuck in here that would overflow into it. I'm sure it won't take us long to hook up right around here. There's a lot of lily pads though. This wasn't all lilies last time I was here. All right, action baby. I'm already seeing giant wakes, but they're probably just the lappies. Dude, there's so many more lily pads than I remember. There's also a absolute ginormous carp in this lake. I want to catch him one day. Gotta get a uh -oh, something, something bit. The first dink. Come here, buddy. He's off, he's off, he's off. He's gone. Let's walk down here a little bit. Hopefully no one yells at us for coming in their backyard. Mm. This looks kind of good. I wouldn't get hung up on everything. That's the thing, bro. It's impossible to wig like a, to rig a uh, tiny swim bait weedless, you know. Gotta sacrifice the weedless. It's okay. We don't really like fishing weedless around here anyway. Uh oh. Oh no! He came off. Bang it. Bang it. Uh oh. Dude, I just got followed up and he didn't hit it. He turned around at the last second. Probably because there's a fucking inch of a hook sticking out. <laughs> Come on, ready to go. That was a tiny dude. He's probably smaller than the first one that I hooked up on. That's fine. We'll take him, dude. We're here for the youth. Waked on again. You know you want to eat this, big poppy. We'll let this one sink a little bit and try to run this dude off the bottom. Maybe we should just start. Oh, okay, buddy. That wasn't a bass, though. That was a uh, tilapia. The girl tilapia. That's a fish, boy. Dude, are you kidding me? 
If we catch a fish working it like that, I was working this thing like a worm. One of the smallest Florida bass you'll catch. All right, buddy. Off you go, face first. Let's see if he destroyed this thing. Look at that. That's damn near destroyed. Let's see. Huh. Think that'll work, boys? Probably not. <laughs> so one way to find out. Get off of there. No. Okay, okay, okay. The whole nine. All right, yeah, it's definitely time to go get a new soft plastic now. This thing's torn up. Guys, don't ever throw these in the pond whenever you're done with them, though, or throw them on the ground. Because a lot of people think they're biodegradable, and I'm sure maybe some of them are out there if you can find them, but most of them aren't. So, they're just going to stay like this, and then a fish is going to eat it, and I don't think these digest very well in a fish's stomach. So, just take them with you, throw them in your tackle box, put them in your pocket, do something. Just don't throw them back into the lake or throw them around the lake. Helps out your fishing environment. It's one of the reasons I... Uh, use z-man soft plastic so much is because the soft plastic on z-man is completely unmatched dude like i'll catch 10 fish i'm talking like saltwater fish like fish that'll mess your lures up i'll catch 10 fish on the same z-man soft plastic they just last forever i mean you, you can even notice like how hard it is to fit them on your hook properly you know, like you really got to push those things on to get through the plastic. It's, uh, it's top quality stuff, my guy. Top quality. I wanted to get out and do some, uh, inshore fishing today. Salt wild of fishing, but with all the rain in the forecast, I decided to stay home and do a little neighborhood bass fishing. We're gonna try to run it through the lily pads and not snag anything. This guy's a magician. Fish on, baby. Let's go. He's actually a little bit bigger. Wow, dude. I thought we'd for sure catch ones only smaller than this guy today. Cause the last time I was here, like over a year ago, they were just babies. This guy still is young dude, but uh, better than the last two, eh? All right, buddy. Adios. I mean, you're a decently healthy looking guy. I just feel like there's not a plethora of food in here for these guys. I feel like you did too. <laughs> I didn't hear what you said. I said I think you did too. <laughs> Listen, my brother caught a 15 pound largemouth out of here. Are you serious? You know what he did? He had a frog. He a frog, a, a top water? That's crazy. Cut 15 pounder. Dress that bitch off and cooked it on the <laughs> 15 pounder my boy said <laughs> fish on baby let's go the rain worked oh all right dink simmer down Simmer down, simmer down now. Huh? All right, let's get out you. The rain bass. 
Adios, guy. Usain Bolt with the last 100 meter. He's almost there. That's the thing about Florida though, bro. You always come prepared with the swim trunks. It's never a problem getting wet. Well, that didn't go as according to plan. We had about 20 minutes to fish. Caught, what, three fish? One that was maybe a pound, possibly, on a good day, on a fat day, if he was eating right. But um, it's going to be raining the rest of the day, and it's my girlfriend's birthday tomorrow, so that's just going to have to conclude the first video. Real quick snippet of uh, some bass fishing. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. There will be a lot more content coming soon. I do a lot of saltwater fishing and some freshwater here and there whenever I kind of have to. But um, we'll see, you know. I want to get back in the freshwater game. I uh I just gotta get some some things in place for some uh some new spots. I know like I don't know if you guys are gonna like the pond hopping very much or uh more so boat oriented, but we'll see. Alright boys, that'll wrap up the first video of the TDE fishing channel. You can call me what you want, you can call me TDE, you can call me Tanner. Whatever feels more homey. Uh I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.